just made a new garden, but we're having trouble with the soil drying out too quickly. So guess whose job it is to water the plants nearly every single day in summer? I'd rather be doing better things. Our plants are dying because the water isn't getting through to the root system of the plants. This is a huge problem because the plant needs water to grow and the water is used for a chemical reaction called photosynthesis. I did some research and found out that you can add extra things to the soil so it doesn't dry out so quickly. You can add organic materials such as compost or substances called wetting agents. I cut up four two litre lemonade bottles to hold the sample and capture the water. Next, I weighed 635 grams of each sample and put each of them into the lemonade bottle. Sample one is soil only. Sample two is three parts soil and one part compost. Sample three is soil and five grams of wetting agent. Sample four is three quarter soil, one quarter compost and five grams of wetting agent. The aim of our experiment is to test which sample holds the most water in the soil. We will test this after 10 minutes and then after eight hours. To each sample, I'm going to add 200 mils of water. After 10 minutes, we will measure how much water has run straight through the soil or off the top and down the sides of the bottle. This is a waste of water. After 10 minutes, the water has stopped dripping and now we're going to weigh the wasted water. The results show that sample 4, which has added compost and wetting agent, hold held the most water and I'm going to leave all the containers for eight hours to see which one held the most water. It's been eight hours and now I'm measuring the samples again. As you can see, sample two and sample four, which both contain compost, retain the most water. And sample four, with the compost and wetting agent, retain the most water out of all of the samples. In sandy soil, water isn't held as there are large air spaces between the particles and so the water runs through quickly. Leaves and bark in the soil release oils and waxes, forming a waxy layer that repels the water. Water can evaporate more easily from this soil. The compost holds water effectively because it contains microorganisms that break down the waxy layer, covering particles in the soil. The decayed organic material in compost also form tiny cracks in the soil that allows the, the water to penetrate. The wetting agent works by breaking down the surface tension of the water when it sits on top of the soil. Wetting agents are like detergents. They break down the waxy coating and allow water to spread through the soil sample quickly. In the fourth sample, the wetting agent allowed the water to penetrate and then the water was trapped in the composted soil. This sample was given the best result. So what have I learned from this project? I've learned that adding compost and wetting agent to your soil can help the soil to retain more water. So that's good news for me because I don't have to water all day. I participated in RoboGals this year because I like finding out how things work and how to solve everyday problems. I believe that other girls should also participate in RoboGals because learning science is fun and it can also get you a good, good job in the future.